To his coy mistress, by Andrew Marvell. Had we but world enough and time, this coyness, lady, were no crime. We would sit down and think which where to walk and pass our long love's day. Though by the Indian Ganges side shouldst rubies find, I be the tide of umber would complain. I would love you ten years before the flood, and you should, if you please, refuse till the conversion of the Jews. My vegetable love should grow vaster than empires and more slow. An hundred years should go to praise the eyes and on the forehead gaze. Two hundred to adore each breast, but thirty thousand to the rest. An edge at least to every part, and the last edge should show your heart. For lady, you deserve this stead, nor would I love at lower red. But at me back I always hear time's winged chariot hurrying near, and yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity. Thy bounty shall no more be found, nor in the marble vault shall sound me echoing song. Then worms shall try that long preserved virginity, and your quaint honour turn to dust and into ashes all me lust. The graves are fine and private place, but noon I think to their embrace. Know therefore, while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires, now let us sport us while we may, and now like amorous birds of prey, rather atones our time devour than languish in his slow chapped power. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball, and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life. Thus, though we cannot make our son stand still, yet we will make him run. If you liked this video and want to help me make more things like it, consider making a pledge at my Patreon account.